this video, I'm going to introduce a basic word search in Lanxbox, which is called Quick or Keywords in Context. So as you can see, I've already uploaded my corpus, and I'm now going to click on Quick in the top left-hand corner. From here, I can type in any word or phrase in the box that I'm interested in viewing. For the purpose of this video, we're going to look at two time adverbials, and the first one that we're going to look at is now. And click search. So Langsbox gives me a couple of different pieces of information. Uh, you can see that it tells me how many times it occurs within the corpus, so now occurs 20 times. I can also see how many texts it occurs in, so now occurs in 10 out of my 20 texts. And if I wanted, if I wasn't happy with this current display, if I wanted to see more or fewer words on each side of my search result, I can change that here within context. Looking at these results, there's a couple of things that I can learn from this. So first of all, when you look at frequency, that can give you an indication of whether or not this is a common term within your specific subfield. So if it occurs extremely frequently, then you know that you would probably use it a lot. If it occurs rather infrequently, you know that you would want to use it less. So you can still use it, but you don't want to be using it every other word. Um, you can also actually look at the line by line examples in order to get an idea of how this word is actually being used. So something that I can see about the word now is that it tends to be used in the middle of a sentence. So it doesn't come at the beginning or it's not capitalized in any of these results. And it also doesn't come at the end. It's not followed by a period. I can also actually look at individual examples and try to see what the function of the word is. So I can see here that in this case, now is being used to summarize current research. There are now quite a few studies that investigated the effect. So explaining the status quo or describing current research within the field. I can also see that in some cases, it's being used to actually help with flow or transition from one idea to another within the article itself. So we now consider the group differences observed in experiments three and four. So we were talking about something else. Now we're going to move on to experiments three and four. Interestingly enough, I can also see that some of these instances of now are actually not really related to the body of my research. So I can see that this example is actually showing information from the author bio. So this is explaining to me where the author currently works and isn't really related to anything about talking about the research itself. So now I'm going to search for another time adverbial, which I frequently see used within students' writing, um, and that's the phrase these days. So you can see that these days occurs zero times. When you have something that you search for in Lance Box and it occurs zero times, there's a couple things to think about. First, make sure that you spelled the word correctly. Lance Box is not accommodating of typos. Uh, I know that I searched this one correctly because it says these days here, so I'm fine with that. Another thing to think about is that if it occurs zero times, sometimes that's because this really isn't something that's used in your field and it's not a good idea for you to use it. Other times, it's just because your corpus might be small and what you're searching might be something that's acceptable or completely um, normal, but isn't frequent. So my recommendation would be if you verified that there are no typos, I would then go to a general corpus like COCA to start looking at whether or not this phrase would be allowed or even a best choice for what you're trying to talk about. Um, in this case, the term these days is an acceptable phrase in English. It is grammatically correct, but it's not typically used in academic writing. Um, and you can see that if you go and verify that in COCA also. 